black men secretly hate their mama. Black men's issue is not really with you, ladies. It's with their mother because their daddy left their mama. If you're not already triggered and you're sticking around, Crystal and Karazin, also known as the Pink Pill, wrote a letter in response to the single mother crisis and the absent father crisis within our community. And this is probably the most scathing letter that I think has ever been written, but it is the most truthful thing I think I've ever read. Mm. This letter, sister, is from someone who is sitting, not so quietly observing, and taking notes as I look upon angry black men all over the internet, making videos and blog posts about how ugly you are, how unworthy you are of love, how disgusting you look in your hairstyles and clothes, how no man in his right mind could stand to tolerate you more than one night, and it better be in the dark mm. with a bag over your head. Oh, These men are the babies you birthed, the boys you loved and spoiled, the young men you wrangled with who grew up with you at the helm of the household, mostly without their fathers, and they hate you for it. The chickens have come home to roost as the wave of I can be both mother and father to my son has reached its peak. It's the results we'll continue to see as 80% of black women all across all social and economic strata are having their first children unmarried and unprotected. They hate you because you are there. They hate you because you're the one who stayed and struggled, no doubt made some mistakes. Hey, we all do. And found yourselves impotent and incompetent in all things man-related, an essential and necessary factor for boys to grow into men, that is. The husband you married when he was 15 years old was probably too late to truly make a difference. And even if he did, your son will always have a hole in his heart for the father who never was. But because you were there and shielded your son from death and starvation, gave your son comfort and kisses, he can't show his anger towards you. You will always be highly esteemed. He'll praise and sing odes of mama and beat anyone to a pulp if they dare say anything against you. So what does your son do with all that anger? He takes it out on every single woman that looks like you. Your son wants to call you fat and ugly and unwanted. He wants to say that you're too black and nappy headed to be beautiful. You must be all of those things because if you weren't, then maybe, maybe his father wouldn't have thought about, would have thought rather that you were worth sticking around for. He wants to say, mama, you ain't worth, sh but he can't. And so he says it to us. Now that the man boy you have, you have raised has the body of an adult. He has no idea what he wants. He wants to be the man he never saw growing up. And he might as well be eight years old, trying on his grandfather's old suit. He is not equipped. He expresses his manhood in the basest and most primal way, out of instinct and desire for dominance. He will have Herculean expectations of you as a partner. You must work full time. Come home, clean, and cook, and fuck him like a porn star. Which is, which, that's... That's the, I mean, obviously, ladies, I would say that that's, that's the truth. At three in the morning, that is. Support him in every decision he makes, no matter how idiotic. Tolerate gross disrespect. To be a man is to pump and dump the worthless, unlovable, and unlugly, and un ugly black women he despises. And if he leaves a few babies in his wake, so what? He'll make claims that he'll be around for the child. But that ain't getting his money. He'll be there for birth and bring you the grandmother along to fawn. And within five years, he'll be gone and maybe show up for sporadic weekends and day trips to Disneyland. But he'll leave you to do all the heavy lifting. And that son that you raise will grow up and hate you and us too. You birthed him, but he hates you because it's just easier. These men who hate you and all of us will disguise their venom about how our attitudes and hair and hats and obesity make us undesirable to all races. So don't even bother going on pages like Beyond Black and White because you're just a thirsty black bitch. And don't you know that nobody wants you? He'll tell you that his verbal barbs are done out of love because he wants you to do better. That black man will even say that while he spits on you, he really only dates and mates with black women. So that's proof that he really does care, right? Pleasing him will always be a moving target because you're not meant to win, only run on the f***ing hamster wheel frenetically and breathlessly, only to go nowhere. And when the relationship fails, the men who dog you tell you that you needed to choose better, while having no desire themselves to actually be better candidates. Mm. They want to make they want us as women to make them as men better, all the while knowing that we cannot. We cannot rebirth what has already been birthed. We cannot recreate what has already been created. And so many of us want so much to please him because after all, he is our son. The baby we birthed, the boy we comforted and kissed, the young man we wrangled with, we don't want to believe that we raised the monster. But we did. 
clearly the damage is done. But what can we do? We cannot undo several generations of black men who despise us, but we can guard our wombs against yet another legion of black woman hating monsters. And yes, sisters, we do have the power. Stop birthing these haters of black women, these fire breathing soul killers. Demand more and yes, choose better. But do not choose from the less rotten of a bushel full of rotten apples and hope it won't make you sick. Demand to see all the fruit, the apples, the oranges, the plums, the strawberries, watermelons, and amongst them pick the ripest, the freshest, and the sweetest. That was a lot to take in, wasn't it? That yeah, was written by Crystal and Karen in the Pink Pill 11 years ago. In yeah. a couple of days, it'll be 11 years. At really? that time, she was already seeing the same bullshit that we're experiencing today. I'm here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you got to this part, if you got through that letter and you ain't pissed off, you ought to be. We are seeing the same problem amongst men. Men now are telling, talking about the kind of women we can't take on dates. Women are talking about the kind of places that you have to take them on dates. We are so far behind, it makes no fun sense because the root cause is that black men secretly hate their mothers because they want to blame their mothers for their fathers leaving rather than blaming their daddies for leaving to go get milk and never coming back this is the problem within the black community and if we don't fix this we're fucked well 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 so what can i say about this this is an op-ed this is an, it's an opinion editorial it's a person's opinion about black men hating their mothers because they can't hate their fathers. Well, listen, we live in a patriarchy, right? In this patriarchy, men seem to worship other men and the rules that other men make, etc. And it seems as if men do have an aversion to blaming their fathers. It's a very strange phenomenon. I don't get it personally. Listen, we spoke to a person on the phone here who was talking about how angry he was with his mother, the person who stayed in the fight, because the standard for women is so much higher than the standard for men. And so he was still vying for the affection of his father while also disliking and hating his mother. So yeah, so this is something that is happening out there. This is a person's opinion. This is how some of the people in the communita think and behave this is true for a certain portion of the population i would venture as a self-love specialist i would venture to say that i believe that the largest amount of hate is actually directed inward it is directed towards themselves and the people on the outside are just scapegoats when you love yourself and you love your features you don't disparage people who have features like yours when you love yourself, you don't go around trying to make life miserable for other people. This is a very interesting phenomenon. I see that 11 years ago, the whole let's not birth them idea was out. We saw a video earlier about a young lady who was trying to teach ballet, perhaps in the inner city. And the children are out of control and five years old asking to listen to inappropriate and graphic lyrics and it's like if you know that your circumstances are less than ideal for raising a child if you know that what can you do to avert them coming into an existence that is already very trying earth is already a pretty tough classroom as is and then to be purposefully born and brought into this world into some dire, dastardly, terrible circumstances just adds another layer onto it. So I don't know. I will say that I have seen videos of men wishing that their mother, saying the biggest mistake their mother chose was to choose his father and how he wishes that she would have chose differently. But if she would have chose differently, he wouldn't be here. So a lot of them don't want to be here. I don't know. I really don't know what to say about this. Be a part of the live show with thousands of other viewers. Go to tanyatko.com forward slash text and join the text notification squad and get a text whenever I go live. Support the show and yourself, and I'll see you on the next live broadcast.